Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Limitless B W L. Today I have a really exciting video. But before we get into that, if you guys want a tutorial on this eye look right here, I did do a first impression slash like demo using the friendcation Desi times Katie palette. So stay tuned for that. That will be my next video. But today I have a first impressions video on a D a new Fenty Beauty Stun Out Lip Paint. She came out with I think four or five new colors. I did pick up three of them and I have never tried the red one. So this is like literally my first impressions. That's why I have nothing on my lips because we're going to try them on together. So that's about it. Let's get straight on into the video. So the shades I picked up are the shades Unveil. Unveil? Yeah, Unveil. Uncuffed and unbuttoned. Now I know unveil is gonna look good just because it's a dark brown, very universal, it's gonna look good on everyone, but I'm very curious to see how uncuffed and unbuttoned are gonna look. So let's just get straight on to it and let's take a look at the shades. I haven't even opened these up yet. You guys can tell it has a clear glass bottle and then it has the uh, silver metal top this is a little bit pricey for a liquid lipstick compared to the liquid lipsticks that i have such as like anastasia and stuff like that so i checked the amount that it has and anastasia has 0 0.1 0 0.11 fluid ounce i don't know if that's how you would even say it but this one has 0 0.13 so i guess it has like a little bit more product but i can't wait to try out the formula so now that we got all the information out of the way let's go ahead and try it out so the first shade I have is the shade Unveil, and this is supposed to be that like beautiful brown shade. So let's take it out. The applicator is super cool. I have never seen this. Like I mean, I've seen people use it, but like I've never seen an applicator like this. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and apply it. So I don't have anything. I had like a little bit above my lips before. That's it. That's a very very nice brown. I don't have a brown like this. So a little bit went such a long way and I think this brown looks so good with this eye color. You know, that's why I did the brown first. <laughs> but, okay. A little bit went a long, long way and like, it's taking a little while to like dry down. I feel like other liquid lipsticks dry down very fast. Not that I really care, it doesn't bother me at all, but I love the color. It's very different from like other brows I've tried. It's also like it looks very nude on me whereas like other brows are a little bit more darker and deeper. This one has a little bit of a red to it but it's nice. Usually brows that have a little bit of red I absolutely hate how it looks but I am actually obsessed with this color. It looks so good and you guys can see it drying down now. A little bit went a long long way so I guess the price kind of works out because you're not going to be using as much product as you would with another one. I just did one dip. And applied it and I even took out a bunch of that excess product too so I love that so next I have the shade on button I am doing this lip swatch already a little bit different than how I usually do usually I just have it on but I want you guys to like see me try it on and like just a little do something a little bit different so next I have the shade on button and when I took it out I was like what it's so light I already know this is not gonna look great on its own so we're gonna go ahead and light it with a lip liner. I am using the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Maison. I thought it was gonna be very similar to the ABH Astrid, but it's definitely not. That's all I'm gonna put and then just blend it. Cause it's way too light. So it's not bad. I do like it actually. No. I like it, but I feel like it would look better if I did like a brown liquid lipstick and then use this right in the center. So it's not bad. I do definitely like, I do like the color, but I just don't like it as much as the other one. Certainly a wearable nude, but you guys know I always wear my nudes with a brown lip liner. So yeah, it's not bad. I like it. Next, we have the shade Uncuffed. So this is the mauve tone, mauve tone, like pink. So this one I'm excited to try taking very minimal product because it's super pigmented oh this is pretty again same as the other one i'm just gonna I blend it out with my fingers a little bit so here we have the shade uncuffed and i actually really like this one um again it's a little bit on the pink side for me compared to the pinks i usually wear but i think it really complements this eye look i actually really like it i think it's a beautiful color so that's uncuffed so that is the last of it those are the three colors i picked up so what i would say about overall first impression is that the formula of it is very 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 nice i think it's like super super duper pigmented so a little bit goes a long way and you definitely my hair 
a little bit goes a long way so you definitely don't need a lot i actually kind of preferred it when i just put a little bit and like just worked with that so i would recommend using it like that because um it like it's very liquidy if that makes sense it's probably one of the most liquidy liquid lipsticks i've ever tried which is actually a good thing because you're using a little bit of product and it goes a long way i absolutely love the first color i used which was the shade unveil which was that deep brown i love it the other two shades i really like as well but i like the last one i used which was uncuffed better than the second one just because it's a little bit light for me uh, once i wore it i found that it was okay those two are my favorite out of the three and as for the price point i feel like at first I thought it was kind of a lot but saying that like a little bit goes a long way so I guess it's going to last for a long time so I don't really have anything else to say about it overall I think they feel super comfortable on the lips they're not at all one of those like really dry liquid lipsticks at all so if you're someone who likes liquid lipsticks but they're a little too dry for you you should try this one because I think you would love it because it's very hydrating if you guys like this video please make sure to click that thumbs up button and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys